Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it is cold this morning, so um, today I'm going to be working on the uh, 2006 Hyundai Hyundai Tiburon. Uh, the problem on this one today it is um, the heater and the AC will not work, will not blow any hot or cold air. Um, I believe it is the um, blow motor or the um, resistor or the relay. One of those uh, two because it is um, will work sometimes and will, sometimes will not work. Let you say it worked yesterday and today will not work and tomorrow it will work again. So um, I'm going to um, first I'm going to do I'm going to um, check the uh, fuses underneath the hood and then see if, if I can find any more fuse under the uh, dash and then the relay which the relay is uh, don't have a regular relay it, it is the resistor unless it, ha it got one somewhere if it does let me know if you know anything about the uh, 2600 Tiburon if it does have a separate relay like normal relay for anything for uh, for this car if you do just post in a comment below that way you can help others as well or it can help me to uh, realize where is it which for right now I don't know where is it I can't find one so um, I only found the resistor which the resistor it works the same way as the uh, relay it switches off on things so um i believe that's it over there so i'm um, if you are looking to um to find the fuse or the blower motor and how to change the um the blower resistor and the uh cabin air filter i'm gonna point everything out while i'm, on, while I'm there it's i'm gonna show everything so be st stay uh, still and uh, watch the video and i will go through some check and um apple not do a lot of check on the um on the uh, fuse because i mean it's not the problem if it's the fuse it will not work at all it could be the relay or the blow motor or some kind of a corrosion cable or loose cable somewhere or wire however you say it could be loose wire or loose cable either way you understand me okay um, I'm going through the okay, now it is on a um, defrost on the windshield and then it's off and it's on hot or heat so uh, you will hear this sound if it works. Here you go, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Go back. As you can see, it's working now, and you never know, it could be this afternoon or tonight or tomorrow morning will not work, and that's the problem we're trying to find out right here. So first of all, we're going to start by checking the fuse, which I doubt that's the problem. If it is, it shouldn't work at all, but anyway, we're going to start with the fuse and then we walk the or our way to the uh, blow motor and then the resistor. One of those two underneath, right there. Okay, as you see, how is it doing? It's uh, working right now. It's going up and down, low and high. It works everything. So uh, it could be not the resistor as well. Uh, I don't know for sure, but uh, at the moment, this is the tool you need. You're going to need a. Uh, just in case, not for sure. Uh, you're gonna need a siren iron right there, all you know, this tool, and then shrink wrap and um, tape as well. Fuses, flashlight, 
a long fillet screwdriver and a short fillet screwdriver you gotta have this two and then a universal plier you got a plier you got a cutter you got a wire stripper and a test light i'm going to try to use just the test light not using the um, multimeter hopefully not and then gloves finally coffee so um, you need all this stuff if not you will freeze up here without coffee okay so let's look at the problem in the car okay now we hit the fuse okay well uh, here's the blow motor fuse over here it's the uh, can this one zoom in a little bit zoom out on how to explain gosh it's hard to see well in a way it's a 30 amp oh my gosh maybe i'm the one can't see hopefully well it's 30 amp right here next uh from the battery fuse over here so one two three four right here so it's right here battery fuse uh fuse puller one two three four right here as you know this kind of fuse is very hard to pull them out it's not easy you just have to really pull on them oh it's out it looks good over here make sure it looks good if it's just your problem and i'm gonna give my test light i'm gonna put on a positive right here oh, i can see it oh my gosh it's hard to swipe there and i'm gonna check this one one of these uh brown should give me a light There you go, it works. The other one, it shouldn't. The next test, I will tell you to do this, but I don't want to tell you, don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. So you plug this one up to uh, the uh, positive side right there and then well it's not working but anyway the reason it's not working because um when you turn the key on or when you turn the heater on it will uh, connect the uh, the uh, ground this is the ground so it, there is no ground to it so it will not work no matter what you do so um, even if it's working you will not get nothing until you turn the key on or switch to switch on the next test i'm going to open this one to see what's inside i know it's good but i'll just uh go and open and show you what's the good one was the bad one all right it's open only have to do is pop this one off with your nails or with some kind of sharp thing flat screwdriver it looks good it's not see the wire between that one it's not separated if it's separated then that's the problem right there that looks good Okay, put some back like it was. All right. Okay, on the other test, uh, you may have to uh, unhook your uh, negative cable. That way, you don't have to uh, damage your computer or anything else in the uh, your car okay i'm back inside right now i see i got my camera working better can focus much better 
okay inside here underneath the uh, steering wheel right here right there uh it's another fuse box over here and then there's um ac switch right there it's a 10 amp and there's a a condition switch i think i'm not i don't know for sure it says a con maybe it's a condition and then the ac switch right there so i'm uh so if you problem can like not like mine you may have to check those if you if your ac is not um getting cold that should be right there and uh, or one of these those switch and uh let's go down and see how is it look like really down there and uh to see what they look like okay it is as it says this one over here is 10 amp and um uh, this one is 10 amp as well so here's what it look like over here this is the one like uh one two right here this is the one below the 15 this is the red one that's the one the um ac switch and then the other one is um it's a, a 10 10 m as well so it's over here like what's one two three so as you can see over here it is not 10 amp it is a 7.5 amp um i guess uh somebody put in there a different one it should be 10 amp instead of 7.5 i don't know why if there are reason i don't know uh this is the first time i been down here well since this is not my problem in order to get to the blow motor and the resistor you had to move the glove box for you to make it easier on you or to access to that way down there it's down there but it's hard to get to it so to get to this guess what over here it's dark see what's in there well i don't see any easy way in Oh, I see. Uh, I gotta have a uh, Phillips screwdriver. Gotta move this uh, screw over here, right there. And there's three of them. One over here, and another one right here, and another one right here. Listen out. See the uh, glove box? It was like that. And this side was like this. So um, I just uh, took took um six screws out and uh it's very hard to get it out for sure you're gonna have took this three screw in the bottom over here and then uh three on the top as well right there hope you can see it okay over here on the other side that's where they come out at and on top right here the reason I um, open this one is to uh, is to see if I can disconnect this one easier. It was a pain in my butt. It took me about 30 minutes to take it off. It was bad, but uh, I hope you're watching this video right now. It really helped you out a lot. That way uh, you know what you're doing. Okay, after you take the screws out, just kind of pull it. Not pull it down. down. It's kind of pull it angle towards you kind of like this and it will come up there's a clip over here and there's another one over here one on each side after that it will come loose but my problem was it took me about i think it's more than more than 30 minutes just to see will not come off so i open this one and see what's wrong if they in the cable like hooked up or something else i could not find so i just go under the car um found this little clip over here right here it's just a clip and uh, if you work in your car you it you don't really need this one over there so you can just cut it and make your job about 10 minutes instead of 30 minutes like i did see the little clip it was over here so i had to like uh, put a lot of force on it because i could not 
uh, see what was wrong. See, I had to put a lot of force just to pull it out, and so it cracked or it's broke over there. So, but it's no big deal. Like I say, it's just a little cable hanging over there, and uh, it's not going to there damage anything do anything but if you keep pulling real hard you could damage the uh, cable over here because it was it's tied into it right there this is the cable over here so it's better just cut it or do something else with it it'd be easier the reason i didn't cut it because i didn't know it was there or something else i was thinking it's easy to get out so it took me a long time okay anyway we're down here if you are still there looking, I mean, looking to see where is that um, all this stuff, the blow motor and the uh, ca cabin, ca cabin air filter, it's over here, it's the cabin air filter right here, there's the blow motor and the resistor is way down there, that's when you're going to use that uh, short screwdriver to get down there to get it out, so you got to have a short screwdriver to get you get that, that resistor out all day inside that box and the blow motor you can you gotta have the the uh, the long screwdriver and the uh, short one as well you gotta have both on this in the blow motor this is the motor over here in the cabin let's do it right now let's open it just uh pull it i think pull it down here push it up or oh, push this clip up pops open and pull out here you go and then pull it down here's the, here's the filter over there and then let's pull it out hopefully what it looks like oops oh it's coming out holy moly that so this is the resistor right here it's a a fillet screw over there and same thing on this side see this is the reason why I like to use my phone to uh, make video because it will get down there but if I got a uh, expensive camera will not go in there to record this right there that's the uh, resistor Phillips screwdriver to get in there because you will like in there oh wow guys there is a uh, relay over here I didn't know that all right, the resistor looks very good. I don't see any uh, corrosion or rust on it. See all this, uh, yeah, then they're very clean. And same thing on the other side. It's very clean, so I don't see any problem over here or burnt or sh something gone wrong. It looks very good so I'm sure the resistor is good I'm not going to show you how to check the resistor this time because I am running out of time but um hopefully you get the idea that's how you take it out and that's how it looks like it should be it's good but if you see a lot of corrosion or rust I think I found the problem already <coughs> this um, wire over here it's very hard at the smooth on it it is stiff like a metal so i moved it around moved it around like this and then uh, the um corrosion it was a lot of corrosion fell down on the, on the floor over here I found out my screwdriver it wasn't short enough to get down there to uh move some of this wire so this is my uh, next tool i got it from ten ten dollar from lowe's see that's the screw that's the little um Philips uh tip over there this should do the job all right are you still there good um well uh, uh i end up using my multimeter uh, i couldn't find the problem so much so this can do better so i used my multimeter and the using it i was not going to use it but i still had the um thermostat out i realized it's not the um yeah, I could call it thermostat, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is the thermostat and um, resistor. It works the same thing. All right, um, I had to end up using my tool, like I say. With this one, I will not get the job done. It will get done, but it will take forever. So, so far, I good thing you stayed around. Um, 
it does have a little relay this is the relay it's located right here and definitely it is it's because i just now checked everything do the check with my multimeter and then um <clears throat> which i which like i say this is could be your problem uh, as i see right now it is my problem but uh, i don't know for sure it the relay itself or just the cable because i don't know what's happening right now as you can see this is the, the plug in right here and um it looks bad see this is from the uh this brown over here is from the climate control over here which they are from the fuse underneath the hood it's from there to the climate control i believe and then uh, from here to here it looks bad it's as you can see right there it's not supposed to like that supposed to be like this one this one over here is kind of dirty as well but not as dirty it looks like golden kind of but it looks clean but this side you can see it's burnt right there and so this cable over here is runs out here I mean runs in here as this is the relay so this uh, relay will power the switch on and then goes back to that one so this is incoming this is outgoing and then the outgoing through cable right here to here and then this one goes in my blower motor right there goes in there so uh, this is the so this car definitely has got a resistor and a relay okay here I have my toolbox uh, this is my battery right here it's a 12 volt motorcycle battery and then um, I got this one the black one hooked up either one I'm using both black so um i got it hooked up on one of the each side and uh i'm gonna put this over there to, uh, like in and out so i'm gonna move my um microphone and see it next to it that way you can hear the sound right there All right. and then when i tap that one it should it should make noise and then um, when I disconnect it, it should do it again. If it doesn't do it, that means it's stuck. You go. I'm gonna leave it on there. Out. On. Off. On. Off. On. Off. On. Off. So it's not getting stuck, so that is good. Got a good relay. On, off. So every time you tap it, if you make two clicks, that means it's good. But if it only does click, and when you, when you disconnect it, nothing happens, then that's your problem looks good it's not burned it's not nothing except the plastic that's what it melt uh, so I didn't change the uh, brown over there and maybe later I'm gonna change this plastic but I'm going to make sure this time um, this pin it goes inside that that brown so it should work in all right guys everything back together as you can see Hey, you still there and I'm back. Uh, it's been a uh, what three or five weeks right now of this project, so I'm back and um, everything works good. It didn't happen again. Okay, as you can see, I got this uh, cabin filter over here. I changed it out. Uh, it was $16 at, Am at Amazon, it's the same product. That's the cheapest one and i found this one a lot cheaper at uh, advanced auto for eight dollar so i mean i think it's come up very good so no complaining so here you go new out mean all out and new in for eight dollar make sure when you put it in 
AO down and okay we're done for here right now see all right if you like this video or if it did help you out then that's good and um, don't forget to subscribe and like my video and I hope to see you in the next video and until then and then bye for now